Hockney created this work while he was a student at the University of California at Berkeley. A little splash in the splash, two earlier works in which he explored his concepts, were combined to create a bigger splash. Hockney was one of the first artists to use acrylic paint extensively. At the time, it was still a relatively new art medium. He believed that this fast-drying material was better than traditional oil paints at rendering the hot, dry California landscape. He painted this work by attaching the canvas to his studio wall. In a bigger splash, Hockney looks for different ways to represent the surface of water in constant motion. The inspiration for this came from a photo of a swimming pool that Hockney had spotted in a pool manual. He became interested in the idea that a photograph could capture an instantaneous event and set out to reproduce it in paint. The buildings were taken from an earlier drawing Hockney had made of a house in California. The dynamic geometry of the house, the poolside, the palm trees and the impressive yellow diving board, all of which are meticulously placed in a grid to contain the splash, contrast sharply with the static, rigid geometry of the house. This gives the painting a disjointed appearance that is quite intentional and is in fact one of the hallmarks of Hockney's style. The result is a stylization and artificiality that borrows from the aesthetic vocabulary of pop art and combines it with cubism. If you liked the video, leave us a like and feel free to share it. Subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching, see you soon on Art Theory.